Hello everybody, my name is Covered Review, go back to another video, and today we're starting a new series called Blast from the Past. Pun, it's a pun on words if you don't get it. Basically, it's kind of like a, basically, I got it for the idea of Walcom, a 7th show, not like show, but like, series on his, ch his channel called Tag Back, but, yeah, this is the first episode, it's about the barrel break. The barrel break is a double barrel break action shotgun. Basically, Blast from the Past, basically we're doing reviews on shot, on reviews on stuff, reviews on older blasters, but I go over them, like, in a different light, like, a different way than I do normal reviews. So, um, yeah, originally this had an ammo holder that held eight darts, because you had to do a lot of reloading. Yeah, and how this, what, how this worked was you took, you took, a, there's an ambidextrous lever right here under the trigger, and you would click it, and the barrel would pop out of it. You pulled out the barrel, you pushed it down, and there's a barrel... A barrel. There's an arrow here, and there's an arrow here to tell you how far the barrel should go down. You should tell by just pushing it down. If you look in there, there's two little dart like stoppers that prevent the dart from moving any further. And there's two little dart actual the actual barrels are back here, the dart posts and the air restrictors. There, these are two separate plungers, but I think they work off an air restrictor. Yeah, they work off an air restrictor because it's a one-two system where you could shotgun it. Personally, I like shotgunning more, but you know, my personal preference. That's pretty much it for the. Really it for the functioning. Then you take. You take your two darts, and these did come. I can't remember. I think they either came with sticky darts, um, whistlers, or I think they came with. Um, whist yeah, they came with whistlers, but these are elite darts. They work as well on the um, barrel break. Yeah. Then you flip it up, you push it back in, and you're ready to go. Basically, it's like a Busby double shot, but without the shells, which makes it really efficient. Not as efficient as a rough cut, but it's really fun to use. Basically, you take this, you, you aim it, and do stuff with it, obviously. But, um, this is not how to explain. Once you're done with that, all you have to do is, you need to go, f there's a two, it's a two-stage trigger, it's a lot easier than the rough cut. So that way, you could go, you could do the one-two motion, like I just did. Or, you could go, shotgun, which this was a shotgun. This is the only sort of like shotgun style blast you could get back then, and people loved it. The only problem with it is, it's reverse plungered, and not a whole lot of modding capability for reverse plungered blasters. This did come in a few other colors. I do know of an elite version, this version, I think there was also a whiteout version. There's a few other versions of this blaster, but this is the most common, the N-Strike yellow variant. Um... And I just really love this blaster. My personal opinion, if this is still out in store shelves and you could buy it... It's not- it's kind of efficient for actual wars, but it's really fun to use. And the fun factor, it goes to a 10. And the tactical factor, eh, about a 7. weird but um yeah that's pretty much it for this episode this is cupboard three signing off